Hello. In this Creo tutorial, video 3, we will be learning how to navigate Creo with the mouse and how to do different commands to view your parts, how to open files, save files, and how to measure distances in Creo. So first, I'll be going over the different mouse commands. So in order to use Creo, you'll need a mouse that has a scroll wheel on it. The scroll wheel allows you to zoom in and out in the model, and that will be very important when designing. And then also, you will need to be able to click the center button down, and this will allow you to orbit in the model, along with also having your regular left click and right click for clicking objects and viewing options. So first, to start with, we'll be demonstrating how to open some files and then how to navigate them. So once again, once you start up Creo, you're going to need to select your working directory. So I've already selected that from the desktop here. And this is where all of our parts are kept. Then we can open. And so now we can see in our directory and we can choose to view them as thumbnails. So we can see this wheel here. So we can open that here. So now that the wheel is open, you'll notice these planes, these squares. These are planes, and you can use these when measuring or when constraining assemblies. Then there's also axis, which will go through the center of circles or holes, and you can use these for measuring the distance to the center along with points. You can shut these features off right here in this little menu bar. That way they won't be in your way. You can shut them, turn them on and off individually or all at the same time. And this will help clear up your view a lot so you can see your part. Now in order to measure a part, you will go to the analysis category at the top here. And here, you can choose measure. And so I could click the outside edge of this wheel, and it will show me the diameter is 3.965. Or I could choose this front edge, and then hold down control key on the keyboard. And then choose the back of my wheel, and I know that this is one inch distance. You could also measure the distance between two holes by choosing this surface here and then holding control and choosing another surface and these are 1.875 inches apart. Also if there's a lot of different surfaces and edges and points and you want to be very specific of where you click you can choose in this bottom corner what type of feature you're looking for. So if I only want surface I can choose surface here and so now it's not going to let me choose this corner edge or this edge, or this edge, only an entire surface. So this can help a lot when you're measuring between two surfaces and you don't want to accidentally click an edge. So now that we know how to measure, I'll be showing you how to navigate with the mouse. So for your regular clicking, you'll be using button one on the left, and this is how you can navigate and expand the categories in your menu bar on the side and you can view individual planes inside of parts and different features along with also highlighting them. We also use button 2 also known as right click and with this we can right click over here and we can open it, we can edit it, we can replace it, suppress it, copy it, pattern it, and do all hide it, all sorts of features over here. And in order to access those, you'll right click. Then also, most importantly, you have the scroll wheel right here. And the scroll wheel allows you to zoom in and out towards your part. So you can always zoom out of your large assembly if you need to see the overall picture or zoom in if you want to see closer details. 
Also, importantly, is the center button clicking it down. So here, when I hold the center button down, the scroll wheel, and then drag the mouse up and down and side to side, I can move, I can orbit the model around so I can see a different side. Now if you wanted to see the back side, you could just drag while holding the center button down and drag to the left. If you wanted to see the top, you can drag it to the top. You can also use this shortcut here to view the back, the isometric, the front, the bottom, the left, and these will depend on which direction you started your model. So it may vary a bit with their direction, but this is how you can snap to one side right away. You can also make your own view by clicking view normal, and then once you click a surface, it will orient your model so that you're looking at it straight on. So that's the most important mouse buttons. If we wanted to open this hub over here, we could right click, and then we could click on open. And so now we can hold the center button and orbit around, and we can look at all the different sides and holes of our wheel. We can also choose analysis, and we can measure from hole, hold control, and click another hole. We know these are 1.875, or you could click on this and then click on the outside surface or edge because you know this will be in the center. So this is your measure menu, and you can expand this right here. And now you can see that it's using the outside as an axis and the hole center. And so now you know the distance of your hole from the center of your wheel is 0.9375. There's also many other features you can do with measuring. Now if you wanted to measure the distance from this side, you would have to create a plane. We can do that by clicking up here where it says plane. And here we could choose this outside edge and then we could choose, um, let's see, choose outside edge and then choose a flat edge here and so now we can say we want it to be parallel or we can do an offset or be normal to it and so now we have the center of our wheel so we could define that and then now we could choose this outside part of our wheel and then choose our previous plane, or we could choose the previous plane and do an offset, and now we can see the edge of our wheel. So there's many different ways to do planes and axis in your model when measuring. If when you are done modifying your design, you always want to make sure to save, and that is located up here by the open and new button. And this is very important because it does not auto save. One more feature that can be handy when navigating the model is if you hold control and then drag your wheel, drag your mouse side to side while holding the center button down, you can rotate your model. You can also hold shift and then press down your center button and drag around and it will pan your model instead of orbiting. So this you could use if you have a really large assembly and you need to move to another part when you're close up.